it seems that my uh, camera stopped recording for some reason when I was in the middle of a little monologue about my picket sign here. So I think I'll just start the whole thing over again. Uh, I would like to remind UUA moderator Jim Key, even though he's not on the mortal plane to hear it, uh, but might be in the spirit world uh, hearing a thing or two, because he's kind of like deceased recently. Uh, I'd like to remind Jim Key what I told him you know, quite some time ago, before he stood up and brazenly lied about it in a worthless apology to victims of clergy sexual abuse committed by Unitarian Universalist ministers, that helpless children have been raped by Unitarian Universalist ministers, such as Reverend Mac Wallace Mitchell, to name but one of them, and Unitarian Universalist Sunday School teachers, also known as Unitarian Universalist Association religious educators, such as Stephen Craig Bullite, who was charged, tried, and convicted of raping a teenage boy that he had adopted, apparently for the purposes of a sex slave. Um, but the Gazette's retired justice reporter, Sue Montgomery, who's currently running to be mayor of the borough of Cote de Neige and Notre Dame de Grasse, never reported the Unitarian Universalist Association's immoral, unethical, borderline criminal, and if you don't mind my saying so, bat, shit, crazy, attempted misuse of Canada's archaic blasphemy law in clergy sex abuse cover-up and denial legal bullying. And yes, I asked Sue to, to report on the Unitarian Universalist Association's misuse of Canada's blasphemy law in clergy abuse cover-up legal bullying that sought to conceal such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers, such as Reverend Mac Wallace Mitchell and others. Um, but Sue Montgomery never reported the UUA's misuse of blasphemy law and clergy abuse cover-up legal bullying, which makes her complicit in it as far as I'm concerned and makes her a former Gazette justice reporter who basically hid the truth from the Montreal public about Unitarian Universalist uh, clergy sex abuse and Unitarian Universalist cover-up and denial of clergy sex abuse. So yes, Sue Montgomery, sorry I'm not shutting up about this. You were given an opportunity to acknowledge the truth and apologize and get around to actually writing the story you should have written back in 2012, if not earlier. But, sorry Sue, I never heard back from you. Um, and so I'm not going to shut up about your complicity in uh, clergy sex abuse cover-up and denial of legal bullying until such a time as you acknowledge that I'm telling the truth about you. Um, so you might want to get around to doing what I suggested you do back in 2014, which is to basically acknowledge that what I'm saying about you is very truthful and supported by evidence, publicly apologize for your refusal to report on Unitarian Universalist clergy abuse and cover up in the denial thereof, say nothing of falsely accusing me of libeling you when I did no such thing. Oh, and yeah, get around to reporting those stories, which are expanded somewhat than they were before, because now there's more publicly available information about such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers. So when you do those three things, Sue Montgomery, I will uh, forgive you for your past complicity in and even direct involvement in uh, cover-up and denial of such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers and various other uh, injustices, abuses and hypocrisy, including the uh, injustices, abuses and hypocrisy that I've put up with in front of the Unitarian Church of Montreal for more than 20 years now. That's it for now.